Good afternoon, everybody. I have the S&P 500 weekly chart right here. And basically on the weekly chart, we can clearly see that we um, have a closing weekly. Tomorrow is going to be Monday. And what we're going to take a look at is how it gaps below this in the retail world. One of the things that we're going to show now is we're going to show a monthly chart. And this is the one that we're going to show you how overbought the S&P 500 is and why we're going to make a ton of money on the S&P 500 put options. We have a monthly chart right here on the S&P 500 index. The bull has been ripping for a very long time. But one of the most important things that we want to talk about right now is how overbought is the S&P 500? And why are we going to have this pullback that's coming? The reason why is on a public indicator, what we call the percent DS is at 96.25. And basically, we're extremely overbought. We were 96.7. We've had it up there at the top at 97.31. And we have successfully traded the uh, S&P 500 put options. We're not bears, but there's only one way to go and that's going to be down and that's going to happen tomorrow is Monday. Now what we're going to highlight right now is the following. We know how overbought we are there. We're going to show some call charts and put charts on the S&P 500. So basically what we're going to do now is we're taking a daily chart. Now 99% of you people You've never seen a call chart or a put chart, but boy, you sure like to gamble with your money when it comes to trading the options. At TurboOptionTrading.com, we are the only market maker firm. This one right here is a 24.45 put on the index. And basically, when we scroll down here, we're going to show you where these put options were on, they were up here, the high was 40.93. Over here on the put chart, we have 39.80. Here we have on 6.15, remember, $37. We made the low over here on 6.19. And we traded them and we made a lot of money because we went up to the high right here of 25.20 on the 6.20 handle of the date. Here is where the S&P put options were losing value in the last three days and they've been marked down to 2190 and that 2190 on a 623 we bought those at 2190 now having said that on the opposite end we're going to pull up a 2410 call that is right here in this call chart the call chart went up to 44.70 on 6.19 and it was super inflated and now we've pulled back here so you go one two three four five days the low on the call of 6.23 was 21.90 once again that's this uh, area over here on the 24.10 call so basically what you're seeing here is the, the greatest thing about this is here's your put chart, here's your call chart. Now it becomes why is it that the calls are going to go down in value? And we pointed that out. And why is it now that in the last three days these put options are getting back down in what we call a deflating value? And with the monthly overbought on the S&P, once again, I can just tell you right now, um, the S&P has been stalling out and it's in a low volatility range. And I just want you all to understand that. And not only do I want you to understand it, I want you to understand why you're getting paid. And like I said, we can go up a little bit higher, but it's going to come down. The bull is too overextended. And the bears are too low for the whole mathematical cycle. That's the S&P 500 monthly chart. And here we have the 2410 calls that made it up here. They pulled back. 
and this particular chart right up here is a 2445 and one digit expired well it's very simple we'll go ahead and, and, and pull those up so that you understand what they are so basically right here this is the um, 630 expiration and I'm going to pull this down a little bit so you can see it and whatnot so that we do know one thing for sure that it's super inflated on that time level 3020 by 31 was the last one now listen to me everybody when we go also out to June 21 premium it's a great premium trade and it is and I'm going to show you exactly um, the July 14th I'm going to show you what the 2440 call is here's the call and this call has come down off of the highs it's a um, July contract and we'll put that in here let me go ahead and put it in a, a different market minder and we're going to go right here so you can see right here that the 1665 2.9 range this is that 2440 call and when we take a look at that time frame uh, which is going to be 714 I'm going to throw in this particular call chart which is 1420 by 1480 I'm going to go down to the 2420 and I'm going to go down to that particular call chart and right here what you're going to find out is that mathematically listen there is no speculation we are the only market maker firm and what we're doing here is we're opening your eyes and we want you to be part of a great thing a very great thing so here are the call contracts they got inflated and we came down that's a 24 20 call that expires on the 14th of July now when we go down here to the neckline and this is the neckline and this is a $2,400 call and we can see how far they took it up and they did and they took it up to $58 and that was totally inflated right now the calls are coming down they were at 46 but they too are still even at this juncture they are still inflated but they're not nearly as what it was when we started that uh, move down and basically I'm going to show on this side of the market which is going to be going way out this side of the market right here is what we call the put options on a chart that none of you have ever seen so here let's go ahead and take a look the contracts have traded 1200 of them uh, the high was 990 and the low was 725 and that is the volume and they're deflated and that is the neckline on the S&P 500 when we take a look at the S&P 500 on a daily chart here is what has happened on a daily chart I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blow this up for you I'm going to show you exactly why the S&P 500 is going to come down and the healthcare bill and all of that they tested the, the 20 day simple moving average on the S&P on Friday which was a rebalancing the Russell 2432 is that uh, red line the uh, 10 day simple moving average for people is 2437.21 that's the 10 and that's the 20 and this is where they came in on light volume and tested those moving averages on a daily level and whatnot I'm also going to show the 2430 put option and I'm going to show it right here on a daily chart this is the put options and they've gone completely down in value and they have and this is below the marketplace so I'm going to draw a trend line for it right here and what I want you to see is the prices relative to the S&P 500 index now this is where we're looking at buying when they drop down and if the call side goes up we're going to trade the opposite end and we can see that the $2,400 uh, call option is still inflated once again I'm going to recap this video because it's very important that people understand as we are moving forward is how overbought we are in the bull run 
And I'm just going to show you right here. We've gone parabolically up. We're due for a pullback. We are overbought at 96.25.